I wanted to give you a quick introduction to the musical examples and exercises that we're going to be working on in the book Basic Rhythmic Training. That's going to be an important part of, uh, of the work that we do this semester. Um, I'm going to actually start, we're not going to do the, the first couple of pages, but I'm going to start on example number eight. Um, and I'm going to talk you through example number eight, just give you a sense of what we're going to do. And then for uh, the unit one performance quiz, or one of the things that you're going to do for the unit one performance quiz is take a look at examples nine and ten, which are on the next page. Examples nine and ten. So let's take a look at basic rhythmic training and just, just sort of survey what we see. Um, first thing we see over here, which is new to us, is this. In place of what we might see as a uh, treble clef or a bass clef, we see these two lines. This is actually another kind of a clef that we didn't talk about, um, sometimes known as a neutral clef or a percussion clef. And the percussion clef or the neutral clef tells us that what we're going to be seeing on uh, this staff is not pitch information, not do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do, or c, d, e, f, g, a, b, c, but in fact it's going to be information for, or rhythmic information for uh, a percussionist or, or a non-pitched instrument. So for instance, if you were writing out something for a drum set, you might use a percussion clef. After that, we see a time signature. And this is a time signature we have seen before. This is 2-4. That means that top number again means that there are going to be two beats in every measure. And then we see eight measures here, separated out by bar lines. And in the very end of this example, we see what's called a double bar. And a double bar is this this uh, symbol right here that looks like a bar line with one sort of thick bar added. And that tells us that we're coming to the end of the entire piece. There are no more bars in this piece after that. So we know that example number eight is eight measures long. And then we see things in the treble, I'm sorry, we see things on sort of the top and the bottom. And this is kind of an interesting quirk that we're gonna see in basic rhythmic training. So what we're actually gonna be performing is this top line, this line where we see all the notes and the stems going up and the notes are a little bit bigger. What we see down here on the bottom uh, where the notes, uh, the stems are all going down and the note heads are a little bit smaller, that's just sort of a, a visual reference for us. That is a visual uh, representation of the beat. And in two, four time, we have two beats in every measure, one, two, one, Two. Another way of thinking about this is what you're seeing on the bottom line in those small notes is going to be what your metronome is actually doing. So for instance, I have my metronome on, uh, or I will have in just a moment, my metronome on 100 beats per minute, which is going to be the tempo at which we are going to perform these examples unless we, uh, unless you're, uh, we decide otherwise. So I'm going to perform this on ta with my metronome to 100 beats per minute. And we see here, uh, we see a half note right here. We know that the half note gets two beats. We see quarter notes. We know that the quarter note gets one beat. And then we see a quarter rest. And we know that, that means that this, uh, uh, on the second half of that measure, we're going to be silent for one beat. So let me perform for you what this would be like if you performed this basic rhythmic training example. And again, we're going to be performing the top line, the line with the, stat, with the uh, stems going up. So here we go. Ta, 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 ta. And there it is. Now what you're going to do for uh, the unit one performance quiz, or for part of the unit one performance quiz, is that you're going to look at um, the next two examples in basic rhythmic training, example nine and example 10, and you're gonna learn those, you're gonna analyze those, and perform those for our first, uh, for our first unit quiz. Again, this is, this is the work that if you have questions or you wanna work on this or 
you need some coaching through it, that's what our work sessions are going to be about. That's what we're going to be doing in the work sessions. So you will have questions. I hope you have questions. Bring them, please, to the work sessions because that is going to be the thrust of what we do. So now you know how to do basic rhythmic training, and I will see you in the next video.